Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do, uh, basically this is going to be like an eclipse reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus for the 15th to the 31st of July. We're going to see what this eclipse is going to do for you. All right. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you know, we're just going to go with whatever comes up. We're going to see what, what's going to happen, and here we go. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't. We're going to get one of each of these, and then we're going to use another deck for the whole reading, but let's get started. We are going to start, this one will be read at the end. Um, we are going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this eclipse? Clean out. Basically, that's what it is. It's a clean out or an energy. What is it going to do for you? What's it going to bring to you? It's a full moon. We have a full moon on the 16th. So, but this is for the 15th through the 31st of July. What do we got coming up for Taurus? Wonderful, so wonderful. It's funny because I saw this card when I was when I picked up this deck. It was on the bottom. It was on the bottom. So it's amazing. And I looked at it. I saw it when I picked up the deck to shuffle. You know, I saw it, but I, you know, I was hoping that wasn't going to come for us. But there is some hostilities to be dealt with, and that would make sense. That would make sense. You know, you may be feeling hostile or somebody may be feeling hostile towards you or there could be some past hostilities that are coming to the surface to be healed, to be dealt with, okay? Um, you know, somebody may want to, somebody may pick a fight with you. You may pick a fight with them. This could go vice versa, whatever it is. But there is some hostile energy that is going to be brought to the surface, Okay, Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we got for the end of July? The 15th through the 31st. You deserve love. You are lovable. And probably, you know, that's what this is about. Yeah, you do deserve love. Don't let, let anybody make you feel different. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anybody make you feel like you're not worthy because you are. You may be dealing with a person or you may have dealt with somebody who, you know, didn't treat you fairly, made you feel like you didn't deserve it, made you feel like everything was your fault. Maybe you come to the realization that you do deserve love and, you know, maybe you're dealing with a hostile person and, you know, the shit starts to hit the fan. What do we got? What do we got for Taurus? Maybe you decide to take your power back. Maybe you decide, you know, you want, you want the truth. You, maybe there's some, you know, hurtful communication. There's some hurtful words that get said. You know, and this is all coming from the heart. It really is coming from the heart. Okay, because you deserve love. So, Taurus. Patience. Patience. <laughs> I guess you got to wait for something, and you're going to need to have some patience. You know, white is a color of purity. So, you know, I can see that we have somebody here that is, you know, acting. With pure intentions. Patience. All right, let's get the deck. Remember, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and you should be watching this video on my channel. 
What do we got for Taurus? Maybe your patience has run thin. You know, and maybe if you notice she's sitting on a wishing well. Maybe maybe you're waiting for your wish to come true. Or, or, or maybe you need to make a wish, set your intentions, and wait for it to happen. Looks like she has something in her hand. Okay. You know, she's about ready to make a wish or, you know, so make a wish, make a wish during this time, Taurus, you make a wish, make a wish. I just got the goosebumps. Your wish will be granted, but, but I have to tell you, we get a lot of people that, that wish for a certain thing. You have to surrender. You do have to surrender. You don't, you don't get to choose. I mean, yeah, you can make your wish, but you can't put a name on it. You can't, that would be black magic. Okay. If you, you choose for a certain person and you choose for them to go against their own free will, you know, you can't do that. You have to make a wish and let the universe bring you what is best. So Taurus. Ooh, letting go of the past hurts, letting go of some pain. Three of Swords reversed. This is releasing the past hurts, releasing the pain. No longer investing. Okay, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is letting go. Somebody is, is no longer investing in a hurtful situation. Maybe healing or almost healed or close to healed. Same thing. Nine of Pentacles reversed. It, it's like realizing that this other this maybe it's realizing that this hostile person doesn't complete you maybe it's realizing that you do deserve something better maybe it's realizing that you know if you wait for for what you truly desire you'll get it you know so you know i feel like somebody is 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 in some sort of unrealistic dissatisfying situation where there's no growth and i feel like we have somebody here that is needing to take action to you know, <clears throat> do what's right for them. We got somebody here who may not, who, who, whose self-worth may be dwindling. It's almost like you're dealing with somebody who is bringing you down. You know, somebody is making you feel like you're not lovable. Somebody that is making you feel less than worthy. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> This could be a family member, it could be a, a partner, I don't know who it is, but there's a, you know, a feeling of insecurity. You may be feeling insecure, maybe you need to find the discipline, you know, maybe you need to take action. It looks like we do have somebody here that needs to take action. Knight of Cups. So you may be dealing with somebody, somebody may be coming in to help you. Somebody may, somebody could be coming in very quickly. Somebody that, you know, wants to have a relationship with you. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could be the person that's hostile as well. They may have swooped in with a big, huge offer of love. And, and now, you know, there's some sort of hostilities. You, I mean, four of pentacles, some reverse, letting go, five of pentacles, um, being left behind, ghosted, um, being left out in the cold, um, definitely, definite, definite insecurities. You're dealing with of your, some of your own insecurities. You may be uh, fearing letting go, fearing, you know, moving in a new direction. Queen of Swords. There's definitely some hostilities here, probably between you and a water sign or you and an air sign. Um, there's some sort of bitterness. There's some sort of resent. There could be some hurtful words that are said. You look at this. She's got his head. You know, she has got his head. <laughs> You know, head on a silver platter, you know, so she's not one to mess with. So you may be there. There, there could definitely be 
um, an altercation. There definitely could be an altercation during this time because it feels like, you know, there's been some sort of ghosting. There's been some sort of uh, being left out, you know, somebody isn't working well. They aren't communicating well. They may have shut down communication. They don't want to work together. They refuse to compromise. You know, this person is not easy to work with. You don't see eye to eye with somebody. There's there's probably going to be some sort of uh, altercation. I got to be honest with you. And I think that somebody is going to let go. I do because this is letting go. This is letting go. Four of Pentacles reverse. It's unrealistic. This is dissatisfying. We can't work together. This is hurting me. I can't. I can't deal with this pain anymore. So somebody is, you know, they may be fearful of going their own way. Maybe there's been a loss of income because of you've invested too much time or you've invested energy or something like that. Um, there's definitely worries here. There's worries about being alone. There's worries about not having enough money. Um, but somebody is definitely moving in a new direction. Somebody is definitely moving. I mean, getting in the driver's seat and, and moving. So somebody's probably moving. Moving out of the home or something like that. And there's Nine of Cups. They're, they're moving towards wish fulfillment, moving towards happiness. You know, I want something bigger and better than this. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to experience, definitely, I think there's an altercation. I think there's an altercation that causes somebody to move. You know, I'm, I'm moving, I'm getting out, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this all behind because it, it's, there's too much suffering here and I don't want to suffer anymore. You know, I don't want to suffer. So we got somebody here that is 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 letting go. This person is deciding to no longer hold on because there's no more growth. There's no growth here. I feel like they were dealing with a person that presented themselves as a big lover. You know, this person ex presented themselves as, you know, <laughs> wanting a relationship and wanting love. You know, they presented themselves as, uh, you know, a dream come true. But in reality, this person is very intense. This person is secretive. This person is very sensitive, and I think that this person may um, not be who they, they said they were, okay? So, your approach is to go after your dreams. Your, this is in your approach position. Your approach is to go after your wish fulfillment, okay? There's an opportunity for happiness here, and I feel like you, somebody here is deciding to take the lead, put themselves in the driver's seat, and go. You know, this is a chariot. I'm going. I'm going. This person may have made you feel like you are hard to love. This person may have made you very upset. This person has caused a lot of frustrations. And you may realize, you know, you don't complete me. You don't complete me. Off with your head. I mean, not that that's the case, but, you know, it doesn't look good. Um, we do have change here. We have movement. We do have movement. Somebody could be dealing with a snake. You know, there's some lies. There's some deception. There's some cheating. Whether it's cheating or not, there's there's something, some sort of secrets here. There's some sort of deception. Um, maybe you come to the realization that this is a lie and i got to move in a new direction. So somebody is, you know, deciding to go in a different direction. And I think that it hasn't been an impulsive decision. I feel like they're dealing with a person that is... You know, they don't see eye to eye with this person. This person, maybe, they, maybe they've lost passion. Maybe they've lost excitement for this person. There's no desires left to be with this person. So I feel like they're dealing with it. You may be dealing with a Debbie Downer, somebody that has nothing good to say. Um, but I feel like something that has been hidden is going to come to light. 
okay it's gonna come to light um, We have somebody here that has um, been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It could be with their ex because this this is an ex, okay. But we do have a major new beginning here. We do. It's the end. This is the end. It's the end of a significant phase. Somebody has learned a lesson. You know, what goes around comes around. So somebody, you know, may have received something. Maybe they've received some karma or something like that. This is the end. The end of a journey, the end of a chapter, the end of a phase. A lesson has been learned. Somebody was definitely dealing with a snake. Somebody who presented themselves as a lover, but they were not. And I feel like we, we have some sort of truth that is coming to the on the table. As truth is coming out. There is. It's like the truth is about to be revealed. So I feel like we have an ending here. And it's a big one. This is a big, huge ending. And I feel this, this, this completion is going to lead you definitely in a new direction. It is going to lead you in a new direction. It's going to open up a whole new world for you. There's going to be some sort of conflict, though. There is going to be some conflict. I think there's some sort of... You're dealing with an individual who is very petty. This person is angry. This person is upset. This person acts like a child. This person, you know, is probably not going to um, let you walk away easily. This person is going to say a lot of mean things. There's definitely going to be some hostilities. And I think these hostil hostilities come because you make, this is a decision, the two of pentacles, you decide, you and this is move, you decide to move, you decide, you decide to move in a new direction. So, Taurus, I feel like you, you come to some sort of realization that you deserve something better than this person who makes you feel like you're not good enough. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, you, you, you come to the conclusion that you don't see eye to eye with this person. There's too much hostilities. There's too much pain. And you decide to release. You do. You decide to release. You decide to go. You decide to just let go. This is unrealistic. There's no growth. I'm not going to, I'm not going to invest in this anymore. You know, um, is there new love? I don't think there's new love. I think this is the person that presented themselves as, you know, Prince Charming. This person is not Prince Charming. This person is mean. This person is, is abusive, perhaps. And I feel as though, you know, you're going to change your direction. I think that you're going to change your direction. You're, you're headed out. You're headed out. You're moving. You're moving. So, you know, I feel as though, and you're moving. This is victory and success. This is victory and success. You know, you have learned some sort of lesson. You know what this lesson is about? It's about self-worth. It's about self-worth. You have discovered what you are worth. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and read this card now. Patience. So be prepared for something to end, something big, 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 something that was very prominent in your life, something that affected you in a huge way is coming to an end. It is. I mean, that's what this is. It's finished. Finito. It's over.
You must develop patience in all areas of your life. Patience does not mean that you give up and do nothing. On the contrary, you need to be aware of several aspects of the circumstances that you are facing. Patience requires you to stop pushing, rushing, and creating potentially explosive situations. Instead, it asks you to see the bigger picture and become aware of the ingredients that might be missing. If you are impatient with a particular person, instead give them space. Avoid jumping to conclusions and making up dramatic stories about a person or a situation without being aware of all the details. You have an opportunity to let go of judgment. Always look for the truth of the situation, not what someone is saying or doing, but why? Why? Patients can also be connected to a health condition you are recovering from. A new diet or an exercise program you haven't embarked on or a new course of study you may have begun. And this and that makes sense. What I said, this isn't this isn't been a hasty decision. I think that you have come to the conclusion that there's a bigger wish for you that you want more. And I think that you're going to go after wish fulfillment and you're not going to you're not going to you know lie to yourself about it. The 7 of Swords is like no. I think you're probably dealing with a sneaky shady individual who probably doesn't tell the truth. And you, I think that you have probably discerned the situation to the point where you know it's time to go. So Taurus, I, f I feel as though there is going to be a hostile altercation in which you're probably going to come to the conclusion that I'm moving on. This is over. Good luck.